Hey Hooper, it's Deanne Love here and we are creating hoop combos again. We just wrapped up our workshop online on learn.hooplovers.tv. Of course, that's the place to go if you want to learn to expand your amazing hoop repertoire. So link down below. But in this tutorial, we are continuing the series of creating combos. We were using the combo cards, I like to usually call them flow sessions though, and here's how we do it. We're going to pick a few tricks, we're going to put them together, but the most important thing is that you pick up your hoop and you start to play with these ideas because we're going to create variations. So we're going to do one combo, but then we're going to see how we can change it so that you have continuous flow. Let's go. So for this combo, you can use any size hoop, this flow session, and I have picked some cards and there are four tricks. The first trick is a weave. You can be warming up and just practicing whatever a weave means for you. Side weaves, front weaves, back weaves, we'll get into it in a moment. The second trick is a wrap a body wrap. How do you wrap the hoop around your body? And if you don't know, don't worry, because this tutorial will help you out. The third move is a roll, rolling the hoop on a part of your body. One arm roll, full arm roll, full body roll. And the fourth trick is an escalator. So we are going to create a combo that is weave, wrap, roll, escalator. Weave, wrap, roll escalator. You're probably already playing with it. And if you are not, this is a basic weave, wrap, roll escalator flow session. You ready? Grab your hoop. We're going for a forwards weave. Then we wrap the hoop. We go for a roll. I'll break all this down for you. And then we're going to do a reverse escalator. Now, the coolest thing is that maybe you did it a little differently to me. But first of all, I'm going to show you that one, break it down, and then we'll look at some variations. So I'm going to do a white right hand weave. <laughs> Hard to say. Forwards weave. So hoop is in the right hand, and we're crossing left, right, left the weight of the hoop, do the work. When I feel ready to wrap, I'm going to keep the hoop in that same hand and bring my inner wrist to my opposite side shoulder and wrap the hoop around. You can check out my tutorial called a hoop hug. You can also do that as a booty wrap, but that's a variation. Let's stick with the foundation and then we can expand from there. So wrist comes towards and you want to have enough momentum that you wrap the hoop around. Like if you just stood still, not too rigid, but not too loose, and you let go of the hoop, it would wrap all the way around. You can turn with this. You can bring in your own kind of flavor. After you wrap, probably going to catch, most common catch is to catch on the inside like this. And the easiest transition to go into a basic roll is to extend your arm out. Now for this flow session, I am going to do a one arm roll. And what's going to happen is with my thumb up, I'm going to roll the hoop onto my forearm without bending elbow. And I'm going to catch it with my other hand down, palm down. It would look something like this. Catch it at about my ear. And then I'm going to take the hoop over the back. So now it's in my back plane. I'll show you the behind the back pass in a minute. Pass the hoop from one hand to the other and now keep the momentum going until the hoop is in a back frame and I'm going to do a reverse hip pop escalator. So my opposite knee comes up to support the movement of the hoop down and to first position. I'll show you that. Come along with me. So forwards weave, body wrap, catch, extend the arm and roll take my hand over the top, thumb to thumb, drive the hoop up, opposite side hip, and there we go. Now, now it's your turn to start to explore. With each of those tricks, you could have a variation. So instead of doing a forwards weave, you might do a reverse weave. You might do a side weave and then go into a wrap. With a wrap, you could stand still, you could turn, you could do a booty wrap, which is very similar to the hoop hug around the upper body, um, but bend the knees, 
bend the booty out, take the chest down, support the back. And I like to bring my wrist to my side hip instead and guide the hoop by doing this little C circle. Hopefully catching, and if not catching, always dancing over to pick up your hoop. Uh, so you could do a variation of a wrap. When you go to move into the roll, you don't have to do a one arm roll. You could extend all the way out and again roll along the body. Maybe you don't want to do a full roll. Maybe you just want to roll over the top of your hand and catch. So you can play around. And then the last one was an escalator. Perhaps if you uh, do the one arm roll and then you take it over, you could even take it up into a wrap escalator. You could take it down to the base. And so what you can see is that even though we just started with four moves, each of those moves have variations. And then there is the technique. And the technique is the flavor. It's the spice that you add to it. So in the beginning, you can be practicing weave, standing quite relaxed, but still wrap roll and escalator. But then after a while, you're gonna put on your favorite music and you might be weaving past under one leg, <laughs> let the hoop go and add your entire, complete, unique style and flavor. Dancing around, moving around and whenever you drop the hoop, always dancing over to it. And here's a huge tip. If you do drop the hoop, it is totally fine. In fact, if you're not dropping your hoop, then maybe you're not challenging yourself enough. Or if you're like me, <laughs> you're dropping it because you're not focusing, because you're chatting and having a really great time. So here is your homework. And then you're going to let us know down in the comments below because Hoopers Read, this is the community here online as well. Weave, wrap, roll, escalator. What does yours look like? What does your flow session come out? Do you put other tricks in between? Is it really amped up? Do you slow down? Um, is it quite sharp and aligned or is it very floaty? I look forward to hearing about the flow session or the combo that you create based on these four moves alone. There is infinite, infinite possibilities just from something little and basic big things grow. Let me know down below. Big hoop love from me to you. Mwah.